Hello friends, today I want to see the BSc first part and the topic is Configurational Nomenclature. That Configurational Nomenclature comes under the Optical Isomerism Nomenclature. Here we want to see the RNS Nomenclature. This Configurational Nomenclature also called as R and S Nomenclature. It is also called as a CIP Nomenclature. CIP. Now this CIP stands for there are three scientists can in gold and prelog and they suggest the nomenclature for the optical isomers in 1956 for the optical isomers okay so we want to see how their nomenclature is assigned for that optical isomers there are some rules these are rules are also called the sequence rules now these sequence rules we want to see one by one Rule first, give the sequence, it is also called as a priority. That sequence is given to the atom which is directly attached to the chiral carbon which is having higher atomic number. That means higher atomic number has given first priority. Okay, for example, you are having chiral carbon and that carbon having four atoms. For example, CH2OH, H, OH and CH3. When you want to see the atoms which are directly attached to that chiral carbon is, okay, here we want to change one of the atoms. It is Cl. Okay, there are chlorine is uh, there are four atoms. It, ca uh, it contains chlorine, oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen, which is directly attached to that chiral carbon. So the first rule is here: give first priority to that atom which is having higher atomic number. When we want to see that four atoms, the chlorine which is having highest atomic number, therefore it gives first priority. Then oxygen is having higher atomic number than other atoms therefore it is having second priority then the carbon third and hydrogen is four so this is about given the priority in rule first we want to see one more example for this cl br h and ch3 okay now can see that this carbon is chiral carbon as it has four atoms which are which are different and one of these chlorine bromine cs3 and hydrogen we are not to see the atomic number of that atoms the bromine is having higher atomic number therefore it gives first priority then the chlorine then carbon which is having higher atomic number and last one is the hydrogen so according to atomic number we are to give we have to give the priority for that four atoms which are directly attached to that chiral carbon okay so this is about the first rule then we want to see the rule second in case of the rule second the priority which is given in case of the higher atomic mass number higher atomic mass has given first priority now this rule second is only for when you are having uh, isotopes which are directly attached to that chiral carbon for example here chlorine hydrogen we can say here deuterium and here cs3 okay now this hydrogen and deuterium these are the isotopes of each other as hydrogen having mass number one and deuterium having mass number two when we want to have such a situation at that time those atoms which are directly attached to that chiral carbon which is having higher mass number 
that should be given first priority in that case that chlorine is having higher atomic number so it is given first priority then carbon it is having higher atomic number therefore it is given second priority in case of the hydrogen and deuterium both are having same atomic number one but deuterium is having higher mass number therefore third priority or first priority is given to the deuterium as compared to hydrogen and the last one is the hydrogen we are going to see one more example in case of the hydrogen and tritium okay again hydrogen and tritium are the isotopes of each other isotopes of each other as they are having same atomic number but the mass number of hydrogen is 1 and tritium is having mass number 3 therefore when we are to give the priority for this chlorine is having higher atomic number first priority then carbon is having second priority in case of that hydrogen and tritium tritium is having third that is the mass number therefore it gives next priority and the last priority is going to the hydrogen atom which is having lowest atomic number as well as mass number so this is about the rule second okay so the rule first is directly attached atom which is having higher atomic number and in case of the rule second it is about isotopes which is having higher ma mass it given first priority then we want to see the rule third now this rule third is for atom which are directly attached to the chiral carbon are same okay for example we are having ch2oh here oh h and ch3 now this carbon is chiral carbon and on that carbon there are four different atoms ch2h is different oh is different ch3 is different and hydrogen is different when you are to give the priority for that four atoms in case of that two c carbon carbon both atoms are same that means both carbons are having same atomic number as well as mass number therefore now this rule third is going to apply here when you are having same atoms which are directly attached to that chiral carbon at that time you have to go to the next atom which are directly attached or which are on that directly attached carbon or atoms for example in case of that ch3 there are three hydrogen atoms okay so mass of that carbon is 12 and that three hydrogens it become 15 but when you are to go on ch2oh that carbon having only two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms now you can see the mass of that uh, carbon it becomes 12 plus 2 14 and plus 16 so it becomes 13 that means when both atoms are same at that time you have to go to the next atom when you are having one of the atom is next or higher atomic number or mass number at that time the priority is given to that atom so oxygen is directly attached which is having higher atomic number so therefore i have given first priority that oxygen in case of the second priority both atoms are same but that carbon is having oxygen accord on that therefore the priority goes to that ch2 then third ch3 and the last priority is going to that hydrogens okay this is about the rule third we see one more example for this when you are having like this okay now you can see you can see that there the, there are also four atoms which are different and that chiral carbon is having two atoms directly attached are same for example that carbon and that carbon both are having equal atomic mass as well as atomic number therefore we want to see the first priority bromine is having highest atomic number therefore first priority goes to the bromine in case of the second priority both atoms are same but according to rule third when both atoms are same then go for next atom on that carbon there are two oxygens which are having higher atomic number as well as mass and as compared to that ch3 as it has only three hydrogen atoms which is having lower mass number therefore the priority goes to the cooh then third priority is for ch3 and last priority is for hydrogen atoms so this is about the rule third okay then we want to see the next 
rule that is rule 4 now this rule 4 it gives an idea about the double bonds when you are having a double bonds carbon which is having double bonds when there is any atom which is having attached directly attached atom which is having double bonds for example when you are having such a system we have to consider that carbon and any atom double bond as a single bond that means two single bonds c y as well as c y okay the double bond stands for it have two single bonds with that y therefore you have to consider like c y c y two times okay for example you know having carbonyl bond c double bond o at that time we have to consider that co and co two times that means it has double bond that means carbon is attached to that oxygen twice two times we want to see one of the example for this COOH CHO CL and H okay now this chlorine uh, out of that four atoms chlorine is having highest atomic number therefore it gives first priority in case of the second priority both atoms are same carbon carbon in case of the next atom that carbon is also having oxygen that carbon is also having oxygen but then in, in case of the COOH that COOH stands like this COOH okay this carbon having two bonds with oxygen here and another one bond with oxygen that means carbon having three bonds with oxygen in case of the carboxylic group in case of the aldehyde group CHO it stands like this C double bond O H. Now this carbon oxygen having double bonds, therefore it stands like this C O O and H. When we are to consider that three atoms on that carbon, the mass of that carbon becomes higher as compared to that carbon as it has three oxygen directly attached to that carbon. In case of that aldehyde group, there are only two oxygens which are directly attached to that carbon. So the mass of that carbon becomes higher. Therefore, first priority or earlier priority goes to that carboxylic group. Then this third one and the last one. So this is about the priority sequence rule which is given to the atoms which are directly attached okay when you get that rules now we want to see how to assign exactly r and s configuration this r and s configuration r stands for rectus rectus means right hand side and s stands for sinister sinister means left hand side when that rotation is at right hand side it is called as r and when it is at left hand side it's called as a sinister we want to see few examples for this to assign the exact r and s nomenclature for example very simple example h o h c h 3 and here b r now this carbon is chiral carbon four atoms which are directly attached to that carbon are different therefore it is denoted as a star if you want to consider that atoms bromine is having higher atomic number therefore according to rule first the first priority is goes to that bromine another higher atomic number is the oxygen therefore second priority goes to the oxygen and carbon is having higher atomic number therefore third priority and that hydrogen is having last priority okay when you are having such priorities that means last priority at horizontal uh, groups that means horizontal lines at that time you have to give the rotation what kind of the rotation is rotation is that the last priority group is goes down that first rotation is there in first rotation last priority group should be goes to the down okay 
so what happen that ch3 group is goes here and that hydrogen group group is goes here so it becomes ch3 here it becomes h other atoms are as it is okay so the priority is like this first second third and four when you are having last priority group which is in first rotation we have to goes to the down in second rotation the second priority group has you have to goes to the top you have to take at, at the top so what happen that oh group goes on top and that bromine group comes here so it becomes br oh h and cs3 the priority is does not change bromine first oxygen second cs3 third and that hydrogen becomes four priority now you can see the rotation of that compound first second third and four so it becomes left hand side rotation that means anti clockwise therefore the absolute configuration or configuration of that carbon is s s stands for sinister how that s comes we go uh, we see uh, once more one, one more time when that carbon is having their chiral carbon there are four atoms bromine oh cs3 and h bromine is having higher atomic number therefore first priority then oxygen second carbon third and four hydrogen when having last priority group at horizontal you have to give two rotations in first rotation the last priority group you have to take at down position or at the lower lower side so in first rotation we have taken that last priority group hydrogen at the down when that hydrogen is uh, comes here that cs3 goes to that place in case of the second rotation the second priority group you have to take on top okay that uh, second rotation between that bromine and hydroxy group so oh groups goes here and bromines comes here so this becomes like this the priority is given first bromine hydroxy group second cs3 third and last group is the four hydrogen and the rotation of that compound is having anti clockwise or it is a left hand side rotation therefore the absolute configuration or configuration of that chiral carbon is about yes okay thank you